In cities and local authorities around the world, the proliferation of sensor technology is creating an ecosystem of real-time information. Software company Yotta has developed a disruptive technology that enables councils to easily see what the city itself can tell us about the state of vital assets. John Briggs has more. Dorchester. The county town of Dorset isn't the first place you think of when it comes to high-tech data. But underneath, within and above these medieval streets, there's a lot more data than you might think. For the last few years, Dorset County Council has been running a piece of software called Horizons to collate information on their road network. Everything from survey data to police accident reports. It means that in these times of austerity, they can be proactive with their road maintenance instead of reactive, saving money as a result. Horizons itself is really um, two systems in, in one. First of all, it allows, once the data has been captured, for you to apply the priorities and the conditions that are important to you as an organisation and allow a mathematical engine to present you with various scenarios to make that money go further. That's half the story, because if you can't convey that message to the person that might allow the funding, it's going to be very difficult for you to make those changes for the, for the good. I mean, I think my asset managers... Uh, eyes lit up when they saw the, the potential that they had at their fingertips now and how easier it was going to make their job to show elected members what we have, what we could have and what we need to do to get there. And as well as elegant visuals, Horizons has helped secure extra funding for Dorset's roads. The Department for Transport ranks local authorities in bands one, two or three, depending on how well they manage their assets. Dorset have proved themselves to be delivering such a high level of service that they've recently been promoted to the top band, band three, giving them an extra eight million pounds from central government to spend on their highways over the next four years. There's a number of criteria that the Department for Transport set out um, and we have to meet that criteria. There are other elements linked to our performance framework, which of course Horizons feeds into. We collect all this data and we use Horizons to um, an analyse that and produce reports for us. It makes the system more visual so it can be displayed on screen. All the reports can be downloaded and printed out in PDFs and stuff. Um, ultimately the reports will give you a, a, sort of a, a better and deeper understanding of your network and its condition. Um, and that's where I think it's helped us sort of take that step forward. Being able to see that applying a thin resurface dressing now may avoid the pothole in two years' time not only saves money, but also avoids public infuriation. We as citizens have tremendous amounts of expectation about what the, the council should be delivering for us. We want answers and we want fixes and we want them now, and they just don't have the funds to answer all of those queries. And fulfilling those expectations could be about to take another step forward. Because with the advent of built-in sensors and the Internet of Things, these assets can stream data 24-7. And Yotta can capture that data using the latest connected asset management software called Alloy. Well, Alloy is really the sort of next level of um, asset management systems. Uh, it moves beyond what we've got at the moment with Horizons, which is already massive progression. The beauty of Alloy is, because of uh, how new it is, is it's been built from the bottom up with the Internet of Things in mind. So we're not forcing this data to come into Alloy. It's ready, willing and able to accept it at a frequency that the user determines is right for them. We are working very closely with Yota to, to, to integrate any new initiatives that, that come on the market because they are coming on the market very quickly and we want to analyse those um, as we can. As well as connecting the assets to each other, the software is also connecting the people who manage the assets. Local authorities tend to work in silos, but by sharing the data across a multi-user platform, they can make joined up decisions and create greater efficiencies. Members are starting to give us the recognition as well that they have never had this level of detail and transparency in the information they're being presented with on which to make those decisions. So uh, I think it's, yeah, it's really moving forward. Alloy is uh, going to embrace our digital strategy. So if we don't engage in it, then we're going to be left behind very quickly. 